Thank you, Madam Chairman. Madam Secretary, thank you for joining us, and thank you for the excellent work that, that you and your agency have done, in particular over the last week in dealing with and, and apprehending the Boston bomber. It has been a time of great trauma for the country, and, and we are all celebrating that, that, that he was apprehended so quickly. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask questions both dealing with process on this legislation and then also dealing with border security. And, and starting with process, uh, my office received the text of this bill uh, at 2.25 a.m. on Wednesday, April 17th, five days ago. Uh, the bill is 844 pages long. Uh, it is dealing with a very complicated topic. Uh, and, and my first question is, in, when did, did, did your office receive a copy of, of the bill as, as filed? About 3 o'clock in the morning. I think that's about right. Uh, in the five days since then, when you have obviously been heavily focused on matters such as the, the Boston bombing and quite properly focused on, on matters such as that, uh, have you had the time to read all 844 pages of the bill? Actually, I, I have read the bill. I know uh, many sections of the bill fairly well, so I was able to skim, uh, skim those sections, but I have been able to review the bill, yes, sir. Well, okay, then, then that has been uh, a, a busy weekend for you. Uh, yes, sir. Very busy. Let me shift to the question of, of border security. Um, and and I, metrics of border security are, are sometimes interesting because at times public officials point to an increase in apprehension as demonstration that border security is working well. At other times it seems officials point to a decrease in border apprehensions as evidence that border security is working well. And I guess I'm always a little skeptical of a statistic that regardless of what it demonstrates proves the end uh, being put forth. Uh, let me just ask an initial question. Um, have apprehensions increased or decreased? From when to when? Uh, from, say, this year to last, from last year to this year. Overall, uh, apprehensions have stayed the same except with respect to the southern Rio Grande Valley where we have had an increase uh, primarily in uh, uh, illegal uh, immigrants from Central America, not from Mexico. Uh, and I can uh, give you kind of chapter and verse on all that's being done there, but it's basically stayed the same in all the, all the sectors ex except for that one geographic area. Um. I guess I'm a, a little puzzled because earlier this month you, you, you told reporters in Houston, uh, and, and I believe this is a quote, I can tell you having worked that border for 20 years, it is more secure now than it has ever been. Illegal apprehensions are at 40-year lows. That is true. Uh, I, I mean, it's, and, and so I, I want to understand it. It goes back to the point I said that sometimes saying apprehensions are down is, is signs of success. At other times, the argument seems to be apprehensions are up. And, and, and which is, is accurately describing what's happening at the border? Well, both are accurate. Uh, the, if you look at the border, San Diego to Brownsville, uh, apprehensions are at 40-year lows. Um, the key thing is to sustain that. Uh, we know that we are currently having... Uh, Madam, Madam Secretary, if I, if I can ask you, you just said a minute ago they were higher this year than last year, so I'm trying to understand in, how it can be a low and a high, high at the same time. One is referring to border-wide, one is referring just to the southern Rio Grande sector. Uh, and in that sector, apprehensions are higher now. We know the traffic is higher now. Actions are being taken to turn that traffic back. So your testimony is border-wide apprehensions are down. Is, is that right? I'm trying to understand. I think what I just said, Senator, is it's about level with last year, except with respect to South Texas. How does DHS measure border security? Prior to fiscal year 2011, DHS used a metric called operational control, and as I understand it, DHS is not using that anymore. Obviously, this bill relies upon DHS having a sound metric for who is attempting to cross this country illegally and who is being prevented or, from doing so or apprehended. How does DHS actually figure out what's happening and measure 
success and as a component of that why is it that that the department no longer uses the metric of operational control mm. Oper um, we look at a number of things uh, we look at apprehensions but not in and of themselves we look at crime rates uh, we uh, look at seizures uh, both inbound and outbound uh, we uh, look at reports from those on the ground at the border. Uh, so it's, it's a whole host of things. Uh, and one of the things we're really looking for, Senator, is what are, what's the trend? Uh, is the trend pretty much all in a positive direction, meaning uh, the border is more <coughs> secure or, or not? And so when we look at all of those things, then we can also make decisions about where we need to put even more resources. Thank so, you. for example, uh, right now, we know South Texas is um, problematic for us, but we're already uh, and have been moving more technology, manpower, et cetera, in there. I bet we'll see those numbers shift very quickly. Senator Schumer. Uh, 